Hey, good afternoon. How are all of my Libra soul family members doing? I hope you're all doing amazing and great today. My name is Morty. Welcome to today's tarot reading. Uh, today I thought I would do a tarot reading for the zodiac sign of Libra. And this will be for the month of August 2019. So Libra, we just want to see what the energies look like ahead of you in the month of August to see if we can better prepare you uh, on understanding those positive energies that are there as well as being aware of possible limiting energies that may be there. All so that you can step into that the month of August when you're better prepared to give yourself a chance of having creating a better experience for yourself in the month of August. So that's my job. That's what I'm trying to create for you, Libra. So and thank you for giving me the opportunity to do this. Uh, I appreciate it. Um, I love it. It's my passion. Uh, anyways, uh, Libra, beautiful zodiac sign. Uh, your sun sign may be Libra, or your moon arising may be Libra. Or you could just have Libra somewhere, somewhere there in your planetary chart. Uh, it's beautiful energy. Um, or you may just be checking up on a Libra. You could just be intuitively guided to be here. Uh, either way, I'm very happy to have you here. So, Libra. I'm a Libra. I love that zodiac sign. So my sun sign is Aquarius, uh, which is also air. So there are a lot of qualities uh, about Libra that I resonate with uh, as as uh, as an Aquarius. Um, many of those qualities, like you're kind and you're gentle. Uh, you guys are lovers of beauty. Uh, you have, you like to please people and to show up, which sometimes means you have a difficult time saying no. You can be romantic and charming. Uh, and then last but not least, but uh, you're just, right? And you're balanced. Great qualities. Okay, Libra. So the date today is uh, July 23rd. It's Tuesday. The time is 4.02 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. I want to begin your tarot reading today by pulling an affirmation card for you just to see which affirmation your guides feel would be best suited for you to hear taking us into your tarot reading. And I don't know, for whatever reason, as I was uh, you know, meditating prior to turning on the camera and kind of speaking with my guides before beginning this read, I... Uh, I think it may be possible there's some love in your in your tarot reading today, Libra. Okay, so I pre-shuffled my decks, but I like to shuffle them one more time. I split the deck three times. I pull the bottom card so that we can see what the opening affirmation is for you. Libra, you have a beautiful affirmation. Authenticity, the number 10, which reduces to a 1, representing fresh starts and beginnings. Need a drink. Who I truly am is good indeed. I am authentic in thought, word, and deed. Who I truly am is good indeed. I am authentic in thought, word, and deed. Who I truly am is good indeed. I am authentic in thought, word, and deed. Okay, so Libra. I said that affirmation out loud three times. I did that on purpose because I believe there's a stronger, greater manifestation power to the number three. And I want to create as strong of an affirmation to manifest for you as possible. Authenticity is, is beautiful. Being able to allow ourselves to connect with Stay, stay connected to who we truly are, our genuine and authentic self. Why? Because we're all unique and different. We came here unique and different. And Libra, there are things about you that are special and different, that are just about you specifically, uh, that is so important for you to stay connected to. So I feel like there's a little more to be said to us about this affirmation, authenticity. So I want to read to us real quickly from the guidebook. And just listen closely, Libra, and just, uh, just see what resonates. 
Libra, sometimes in life we make choices that pull us away from who we truly are. Sometimes these choices seem small. Sometimes they are obvious and painfully at odds with our core beliefs. But when they do begin to accumulate, we can find ourselves looking into the mirror of our souls and wondering, is this who I really am? It is easy to say we must always live from our core, but truthfully, we have all felt compromised at times, either by others or by our own choices. This spell will help you to return to living authentically without distance, separation, and disconnection from your true values, ethics, beliefs, and dreams, yours, not your cultures, your families, and certainly not those of your conditioning, those of your soul. This spell will help you to integrate the aspirations your soul has for you and enrich and empower your life every day. If this card has chosen you, the universe is asking you to remember the dreams, ideals, and values that seem to have been covered over by years of living within the real world. The universe is sending you a clear message that it's not only possible to be truly yourself, it is the most exciting and safe path of them all. If you have chosen this spell, you may feel disconnected from your true self. Take heart, you're on the way to returning to authenticity and this magical spell will empower the sacred path back to the wisdom of the soul. Okay, Libra, it's fantastic. Right, so energy is available to all of you, right? In the month of August, as you have the opportunity to be able to reconnect with your, your inner self, your essence, uh, who you truly are, right? In many cases, your childlike self. So uh, keep in mind, uh, Libra, this today's reading will not be for every Libra, but it will be for many of you. Um, and it's a general reading for the collective. Uh, it's not a personal reading. I do provide personal readings. Uh, I charge $60 and I send you your own private link to your own personal 30 minute reading. Uh, and it's a reading that's specifically about you so it can get much more interesting. Um, anyway, anyways, if you're interested in having me do one of those, I'd love to provide one for you. Just send me an email at terraloveandabundance at gmail.com. And then I also just wanna thank all of you for uh, all of the love and the support that you guys share with me here on this channel uh, through the comments, uh, through the beautiful things that are said uh, to me and to one another, through the beautiful donations and the contributions that many of you make towards the channel. Um, this is how I live, this is what I do. Uh, and you're giving me the opportunity to try to take something that I feel may be a value that I want to share with the world and to be able to share it uh, and to be able to to live and exist at the same time. So thank you so much. Okay, Libra. I'm doing your tarot reading today with uh, my Crystal Vision Tarot set by Jennifer Galasso. want to see what the opening energy is taking us into your tarot reading today. Okay, fantastic. Libra, opening energy taking us into your tarot reading today is the Wheel of Fortune. So the Wheel of Fortune uh, represents the energy of change, right? So many of you anticipating, right? You're, you should be anticipating some changes coming into your life. Uh, notice that it's Wheel of Fortune, not Disfortune or Misfortune. So these are positive changes, right, for the betterment. But Libra, it's important to know that, you know, you have the ability to determine what kind of changes come into your life. You, you do that by managing your energy today, right? Um, living a life of gratitude, right? Make sure you're operating at a higher vibration, right? Not uh, carrying around grudges, right? Anger and resentment or anything like that. Allowing those limiting energies to pass. Live, coming from a place of unconditional love and gratitude. Uh, operating at higher vibrations, so when these changes come in, they're higher vibrating, more positive changes. All right, Libra, tell us more. Tell us 
once more. Okay, so I have to check. I think a card flipped. Not positive. There it goes. Okay. All right, Libra. Coming in next, your tarot reading for the month of August. We have the Hermit card, which is the card of Virgo. Uh, so some of you may be in a relationship with a Virgo or have a Virgo in your life. Uh, so it would be a pretty significant relationship. Uh, it's a great energy in this card. Is for many others, this represents the energy of the universe encouraging you to seek some solitude, right? to go inward get away from the noises and the distractions of the world, but at the same time, also release, release ourselves from some of the, maybe the opinions and the judgments and the, you know, the heavier feelings that we may have in our own mind. So we have to clear ourselves from within and then around us to get quiet in order to listen, to hear, to look for, listen for direction and guidance. Just as the lantern illuminates the night sky for the hermit on the side of this cliff, providing the answers it's looking for. gonna say too many cards but I don't think it's uh, I don't think it's too many cards I think these cards were, were meant to flip over for you Libra so coming in next we have the star card which is the card of Aquarius um, so some of you may be in a relationship with Aquarius or having Aquarius in your life uh, it's a beautiful energy in this card it's a card about balance it's more than just balance right it's balance that comes with, with the recognition that we're all imperfect, right? Uh, and being, accepting that, coming to a place of peace with that. She has one foot in the water, one foot on dry land. She pours one cup on dry land, one cup in the water. So the water represents our emotions, our feelings, subconscious, uh, our feminine self. Dry land represents our presence here on earth, our masculine self. So she's balanced them both. She's standing underneath eight stars, right? For good fortune and good luck. Do probably do a part to that balance. Uh, so this, is, this represents the energy of, of, of moving and working towards manifesting your hopes and dreams, right? Which is a, a good energy to experience. Okay. Libra, coming in at the center of your tarot reading today, we have the Ace of Swords. So aces represent beginnings. Swords represent mental energies. And so for many of you, this will represent the beginning of like a new way of thinking, or maybe a new way of being. Uh, but definitely something that uh, it's changing a, a thinking of some in some way, shape, or form. Uh, and for some of you, it can absolutely be about love. Is this sword is surrounded by roses? Many others surrounded by butterflies representing rebirth, right? Beginnings. Okay, Libra coming in next. We have the Two of Pentacles. Uh, Two of Pentacles is a good energy, is it represents the energy of balance, right? The importance of mind balancing mind, body, and spirit, right? The importance of balancing uh, work and home, uh, the importance of, of balancing your own energy right and the energy that you share with others of, of uh, maintaining that that harmony right so uh, Libra balance showing up quite a bit in your tarot reading today so kind of an important thing to be aware of yeah kind of along the lines of what I was feeling early on in, in your uh, before I started your reading Libra is I felt like I was just feeling that there's love there for many of you, right? New love, new relationships, uh, showing up here in the Two of Cups. Uh, beautiful energy. Uh, you see male and female standing together in the water. If you look closely, both of their hands are held together sharing this cup. 
It's an oh, it's a willingness. It represents an openness, a willingness to to share, right? To well, not just to share, but to be able to share and be completely authentic. Uh, both of you, you know, totally authentic with one another. A strong connection of unconditional love and trust. I'm liking your reading so far. All right, tell us more. Tell us more. cards are coming out many of them are just coming out individually one at a time just their individual single flips love that okay Libra coming in next and coming in underneath attached to the hermit card card of Virgo we have the world card uh, which is a beautiful energy right? so this is the the last card in a set of tarot right so this represents completions endings graduation right uh, for many of you representing a series of lessons that have been put in place for you to go through and to experience. Some of these lessons were probably painful. The earth sits on a, in a lotus flower. A lotus flower, for those of you that know anything about it, it survives in the most extreme conditions. Right? I feel like these little fireflies lighting up and they kind of maybe represent the different lessons, Libra, that you've been going through and experiencing. This is the universe letting you know that these lessons uh, you've learned, all that's meant for you to learn. So you can now allow these lessons to pass. No sense in recycling. You're graduating. star card so attached to it we have the high priestess uh, which is a universal energy uh, a great energy uh, so this is the universe Libra reminding you of your intuition right? to trust it to count on it take make sure you're taking time to listen to it allow yourself to connect to it right because we have the hermit card showing up here seeking that solitude uh, she's surrounded by butterflies representing rebirth to the star card of you know manifesting and taking you towards all of your hopes and dreams okay Libra showing up at the center of your tarot reading today we have the five of cups uh, so it's coming in attached to this ace of swords uh, the five of cups is a limiting energy uh, it represents things in the past that have happened right uh, for example these cups Right, that she's staring at in the water that tipped over they've happened it's past but she stays fixated right on those she's she's focused on the pain focused on how they felt what the experience was at the time they happened rather than the growth that came afterwards because if she could focus on the growth she would turn her head just a little bit and see that she's being offered two full cups right next to her so it's coming, showing up at the center of your tarot reading, Libra, uh, attached to the Ace of Swords, right? So I feel like the reason it's showing up is many of you, right, this new beginning, this new way of thinking and understanding, right? Many of you, it's, it's because you're graduating now, right? You're moving past this energy uh, and you're trusting uh, new mindset, new belief system, new understanding. So that's fantastic. Okay, Libra, coming in next, we have the Emperor card, the card of Aries. Uh, and it's coming in 
underneath it attached to the two of pentacles. Uh, so some of you may have an Aries in your life or be in a relationship with an Aries. Uh, beautiful energy on this card is it represents power, strength, um, trust, right? The kind of energy you can count on, the kind of energy that shows up, right? The emperor shows up. Uh, if you look at him, he's standing sure-footed on top of this hill. He wears the horn of the ram. He holds the world that he reigns in the palm of his hand. So it represents that, that type of energy, right? For some, having your power. It's attached to balance. Underneath the, the Two of Cups, we have the Ten of Cups. Uh, ten of Cups is a beautiful energy. Yes, it represents the energy of two people coming together, right? coming together in union and trust. So it's attached to the Two of Cups, right? So for some, the Two of Cups represents a newness. Uh, so for some of you, it'll be a brand new relationship, new love coming together. Uh, and, uh, and for others, you may already be in a relationship, but in many ways, it's kind of like a restart um, of moving into some new, beautiful energies together. Uh, oh, and this is interesting. I just thought of this. We are kind of moving into the Libra season, and, and there's something planetarily with Libra this month, I think starting today, uh, that really increases in, uh, the, the love uh, across the board, right, throughout the world. So, and I think it lasts for a couple weeks. I'm not an astrologer, so don't quote me. Um, but the, the Ten of Cups, right, this represents, um, I mean, these two are, they're, they're experienced energies. Uh, so, you know, been in relationships before, maybe even been in marriages, right, and she's holding a child. So for some of you, you may be merging families, right, um, you know, getting together, coming together a little bit later in life, which is fantastic. But these two share the same similar connection, right, of unconditional love and trust. It's unquestioned. Okay, Libra. Energy taking us out of your tarot reading today is the Ace of Cups, uh, which is a beautiful energy. Right? Aces represent beginnings. Um, cups represent emotions, feelings, and love. Right? So many of you, Libra, as you move into the month of August, right, you're experiencing and feeling that energy of beginning love. Right? For some of you, you, you may be beginning romantic love. Uh, I think that is the case for many of you. Um, well, it is. I'm seeing it all over here. Okay, Libra. Uh, I'm done with your tarot reading. Uh, I've held up each card individually to let you know what the energy represents by itself. Uh, but now that I have the cards laid out, I need to look at them and see where they're placed in terms of relationship to each other. Um, and I need to see and feel what it is they want to share by way of message. So I'm going to take just a moment to do this. I just keep the recording going, so just hang tight, listen to the soothing sounds of the background music, and I'll, I'll be right back and I'll share your whole reading with you. Opening affirmation, taking us into your tarot reading today. Authenticity. So, the universe pointing out the importance, Libra, of you staying connected to your authentic self as you step into the month of August. Right? And as I look at your reading, right, I'm seeing this, the importance and the significance of, of authenticity all throughout your tarot reading here today. So that's, that's an important message. 
opening energy taking us into your reading is the will of fortune representing the energy of change right? so Libra many of you anticipating experiencing changes of all sorts coming through in the month of August for many of you these changes may be relationship related right many of you beginning relationships starting so Libra the universe wants you to know that you're graduating right some lessons you've been going through and experiencing allow them to pass now now it's time to restart it's time to think about what's next. The universe is encouraging you to go inward to determine that, right? Connect, allow yourself to connect with your higher self. Listen to your inner feelings. Right? As you're gonna be making choices, going down paths. With endings come brand new energies for new beginnings. So Libra, I, I say that because cards coming in next are the star card, the card of Aquarius. Attached to the Aquarius is the High Priestess, representing intuition, right? The universe emphasizing the importance of Libra to trust your intuition, right? She stands above a crescent moon, representing unseen energy, right? So with your intuition comes manifestation, right? Magicians, that's what they do is they move unseen energy, right? So she manifests. And this is connected to moving in the direction of all your hopes and dreams. It's a great thing for you, Libra. Okay, Libra, showing up at the center of your tarot reading today, we have the Ace of Swords, uh, representing a beginning, right? A new way of thinking, a new understanding. Attached to it, we have the Five, five of Cups, right? Which is a limiting energy of past experiences in the past that were painful we're moving beyond those right we're looking we're recognizing the growth we're we're, we're we're forgiving the pain that may be associated just letting it go completely stepping into a new time right with new understanding new thinking new faith new trust and for many of you there's roses surrounding this ace of swords and they're just popping out at me today so i feel like this beginning is uh, an understanding and a way of moving into relationships with more trust and understanding, right? Letting go of the past. Sorry, I'm kind of laughing at myself. Okay, Libra, coming in next, we have the Two of Pentacles, representing the energy of balance. Attached to this Two of Pentacles, we have the Emperor card, the card of Aries. So some of you may have an Aries in your life, right? Bringing you balance, bringing you stability, security, right? For others, the universe is reminding you that for you to keep your power, right? Staying on your course, staying connected to your authentic self requires balance. taking us to kind of the final chapter of your tarot reading today. Uh, two of Cups, and attached to the Two of Cups is the Ten of Cups. And so at the very beginning of your reading, uh, I was feeling a lot of love and connection in your Libra, in your reading uh, in the month of August, Libra. So uh, here it is, you know, showing up here uh, in the form of Two of Cups and Ten of Cups, uh, new relationships new beginnings and experiencing those energies for, for many of you and others, right? Coming together a little later in life, right? Maybe in new relationships, maybe in existing relationships, right? She's holding a child, you may already be together, have a family together. Others merging families. That's fantastic. Yeah, and I just think it's so perfectly timed and ironic for you, Libra, right now, especially with everything's happening with the planets, specifically with Libra, uh, taking us to the energy, steering us out of your tarot reading, which is the Ace of Cups, right? Ace is our beginnings. So Libra, you're stepping into, many of you stepping into new beginnings in the month of August, right? A beginning that you love. For many of you, it's romantic love. It is, I'm seeing it all throughout your reading. 
Okay. Wow, Libra, I really, I really enjoyed your tarot reading today. Uh, thank you very much for giving me the opportunity. Thanks for tuning in. If you like the reading, uh, you know, if, if the messages resonated with you, if the energies resonated, be sure to hit like and subscribe. Leave me a comment if you'd like. I love to read the comments. Uh, okay, guys, Libra, you guys have a fantastic August to look forward to. Uh, wishing you all the very best. Thanks again. Thank you.